in this uh, video of uh, medical education series uh, i will show you how to make a blueprint of uh, any undergraduate postgraduate assessment program a good assessment starts with a good blueprint which specifies in detail what content needs to be covered so content validity is checked the source of content depends upon its purpose if it is intended to determine what has been learned as a part of course then content should be drawn from the syllabus like in this example i will give i am checking the retina stage for undergraduate students and if it is intended to indicate readiness for practice then it should be based on patients problems that constitute that practice now what is meaning of blueprint well blueprint means detailed plan of action it is a map or table of specifications for an assessment program which ensures that all aspects of the curriculum and educational domains are covered it makes assessments fair to the students as the knowledge skills attitudes that are more common more impactful more serious and more taught are assessed more the blueprint when it is made is given to the teachers students teacher knows which things need more time to teach and students have clear idea of what is being assessed and can direct their learning efforts in that direction so i hope now you have got a little bit idea of that what is a blueprint so let's make a blueprint for retina stage in ophthalmology for undergraduate students now here you can see that there are many rows and columns the rows indicate the topics that are covered like diabetic retinopathy age related macular degeneration central retinal vein occlusion central retinal artery occlusion uh, sickle retinopathy macular hole retinitis pigmentosa central serous chorioretinopathy star gar disease and retinal detachments now these are the 10 main diseases that we teach in the retina so <clears throat> these are being taught in lectures uh, small groups uh, now next two columns are very important second column shows uh, the impact that how much serious uh, the condition is like if it is a non serious non vision threatening disease then it has got one mark if it is serious but not too much sight threatening then two marks and if it is a sight threatening condition then three marks of impact is given like you can see the diabetic retinopathy has three impact central retinal artery occlusion and retinal detachment has also got three impact because uh, patient can go blind if not urgently treated now the third column is a uh, frequency and it means how much common or rare the disease is if it is a rare disease it has got one score if it is a common disease it has got two and if it is very common that three marks are given in this blueprint so amd and diabetic retinopathy are very common hence three marks are given to these now you can see that central retinal artery occlusion a blinding condition but it is a rare condition so it has got one mark so we have included the diseases in this blueprint based upon the importance like seriousness and whether they are common or rare so the disease like diabetic retinopathy which is very common as well as cause significant visual morbidity have maximum score of 9 so it will get maximum mcqs in assessment exam amd and retinal detachment get 6 score when you uh multiply impact with frequency they get six score so from this blueprinting diabetic retinopathy age related macular detachment and retinal detachment will be maximally assessed because blueprint is based on frequency and impact now fourth column i multiply by f impact multiplied by frequency is added 
and total is 44 now how to calculate the weightage well divide i multiply by f by 44 like amd has got i multiply by f6 so divide 6 by 44 and you get 0.136 weight of amd rd has also got 0.136 for diabetic retinopathy it is 0.204 so when you add all the conditions weight should come one then decide how many MCQs or test items you want to include if the average discrimination index of item is 0.3 then approximately 50 to 60 items are needed to achieve reliability of 0.8 so here we include 50 items to evaluate the retina now sixth column is obtained by multiplying 50 which is the total number with weight so it gives 10 mcqs to diabetic retinopathy assessment 7 mcqs to amd and retinal detachment 5 to central retinal vein occlusion retinitis pigmentosa and csr and when you add all it should become 50. now then divide these further into which areas should be tested like 10 mcqs of diabetic retinopathy five should be about diagnosis different scenarios will be given and they will at the end diagnosis will be asked one investigation two treatment options and two basic knowledge so now it is clear that the how blueprint make the assessment uh, the exam fair it test high impact full and common diseases and also check all aspects like diagnosis investigation treatment and basic knowledge so all evaluations whether formative like uh, this blueprint which i am showing it is a formative evaluation of retina or summative should conform to blueprint Waiting of blueprint offers an opportunity for reflection in learning experiences. More teaching time should be devoted to content areas with higher weighting. So, when you make an ideal blueprint, it should be distributed to all stakeholders, students, teachers, course chair, and to monitor the content validity at the end of summative evaluation. Students feedback is required by asking did the final exam reflect the material seen and taught so that was all about how to make a blueprint from this example you can also make your own speciality as i am an ophthalmologist so i have made ophthalmology blueprint so you can make your own field blueprint i hope you will have now some idea that how to make a blueprint for assessment. Thank you very much.